Jesus, glory to God, is not a funeral. Oh, come on here. I'm going to say it one more time so you can catch it in your spirit. Glory to God. When we bless the Lord, hallelujah, it's a time of celebration. Amen. Ah, glory to God. It's a time of victory. Hallelujah. It's a time of celebration. Oh, come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And as we bless the Lord, hallelujah, you know, as the blessings are being released to God, amen, as the praise, I'm sorry, amen, as the praise is going up, hallelujah, the blessings are coming down. Who am I helping on tonight? Glory to God. So that's a time of celebration. Hallelujah. That's a time, amen, of exuberant praise. Hallelujah. Has God done anything for anybody? Mm. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. Has God done anything for anybody? Ah, glory, glory, glory. If the Lord has done something for you tonight, Amen. give him praise. Hallelujah. If God has done something for you tonight, give him glory. I said, if God Amen. has done anything for you, whatever the Lord has done for you, glory to God, begin to magnify him, begin to lift him up. Hallelujah. Begin to bless him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got to come. Amen. Out of all of this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We, we got to come out of all of this, you know, um, um, sorrowfulness. And we got to come out of, you know, uh, uh, God, if you're going to do it. You know, we, we got to come. Who am I talking to tonight? Hallelujah. We got to come out of all of this. I'm going through. Woe is me. You know, it's, it's always me. I'm going through this and I'm going through that. What has God done for you lately? Mm. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. Some praises on Facebook already. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. You know, how you did the old shy. God said, enter into his courts with praise and enter into his courts with thanksgiving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. When we enter in, come on, somebody. This is a blessed ministry. Come on here. It's not a funeral. We ain't rolling the body in. Oh, y'all don't want to talk. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on here. Hallelujah. So, so on Wednesday, when we have our prayer line call again, we're going to try it again. Is that all right? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, Shatanda Baha. Somebody may say, well, you know, I'm going through right now. Okay. But you can't go through always. Come on. The Bible even says trouble don't last always. Okay, who am I helping tonight? <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes tell you about shape. You got to put a smile on your face and keep on pressing. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the times where you're feeling weary, what does the Bible say? Be not weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall what? Reap if you faint not. Come on here. Hallelujah. Some of you are right at the end of the victory. You're right at the end of the finish line. Some of you are a few more sprints. Hallelujah. One more sprint and you're going to cross the finish line. Mm. Glory to God. Anybody running this race? Come on here. Hallelujah. Anybody running this race? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because if you're running this race, keep on running. Amen. Keep on running. Keep on sprinting. Keep on going. Keep on pressing. Hallelujah. Keep on pressing your way. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And get away from the doubters and get away from the haters. Get away from the naysayers. Come on here. Those that say you can't do it. You know, those that saying, you know, God ain't going to do it for you. Come on here. When he done already paid the price. Somebody shout, God done already paid the price for me. <laughs> he, he done already paid the price for my victory. God bless you on tonight. Blessings to you, Sister Christina. Listen, he, he done already paid the price. Come on here. Hallelujah. On Calvary's cross over 2,000 years ago. So what are you crying for? Come on. Hallelujah. The Bible says that weeping may endure for a night. Mm. But joy comes in the morning. Hey. Hiya by Shay. I know it's the nighttime, but it can still be your morning. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we wait for the sun to come up. But how many of you know the sun done already paid the price? Ah, uh, glory. I said the sun who is Jesus himself. So you can get victory at 12 o'clock as Paul and Silas. <laughs> Glory to God. I said you, oh, y'all don't want to talk tonight. I don't know if y'all ready. Anybody ready tonight? Hallelujah. Because I'm on fire for God. Amen. Hallelujah. I didn't win. I didn't want, I have won some victories. I have triumphed over some things. Glory to God. The Lord, hallelujah, has allowed me to win many victories. Hey, hiya bashe. So for that, I give God praise. Come on here. We are victorious. Somebody shout, I'm victorious. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shout, I've won the victory because my God has won the victory. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you all tonight on social media, um, Instagram live here, Facebook live here. God bless you all tonight. Those on our prayer call tonight, stay on the line if you will. Glory to God. That's right. That's right, Prophetess Tina. You got the decree and declare it. I am victorious. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You have the victory. Glory to God. As I said earlier, it's not a funeral. So I don't know why we sound like we mourning. Come on here. I, I don't know why we sound like, you know, something is wrong with us. Come on here. <laughs> when you are higher than your child, when you a child of God, listen, you got the victory. You know you got the victory. Come on. It, it's, not a, it's not a doubt in your mind. That's right. That's right. Decree and declare it. Sister Zaquita, I have the victory. That's it. That's it. Come on here. Sometimes you need to make a declaration. Some of you need to start decreeing and declaring a thing. You know, the Bible, oh, yes, God, I hear you. The Bible says that as you decree and declare a thing, it shall manifest. Come on. Come on. Now y'all typing, I got the victory. But we were just on the prayer line and you was thinking about if you was going to praise them or not. Come on here. But y'all typing, I got the victory. We were just on the prayer line and some of you were waiting to hear the praises of others. And once you heard everybody else praising, then you decided you was going to open your mouth and praise God. What has God done for you? Somebody shout is personal. Let me help you tonight. Your victories are personal. Your crisis is personal. Your situation is personal. Let me help you tonight. And your victory going to be personal too. Come on here. Judgment going to be personal also. You're not going to be standing in before God on a day of judgment with anybody. Somebody caught that in the spirit? Come on here. Some of you are fighting a real devil. You are fighting a real enemy. And we're going to talk about it tonight. And when you realize that you are fighting a real enemy, then you realize that you got to pick up your weapons. You can't pick up somebody else's weapons and you can't put on somebody else's armor. We teaching already. We thank God for the prayer that has been rendered to the Father's ears from our sister Sequita on tonight. And we shout amen in this atmosphere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm fired up for the Lord. I'm charged up for Jesus. Listen, y'all, and I make no apologies for it. Glory. I make no apologies. Hallelujah for the fire of God tonight. Amen. I make no apologies. Hallelujah. And I've learned, glory to God, that when God has placed his anointing upon your life, you got to walk in what God has called you to walk in. Come on here. I can't be you and you can't be me. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh oh, y'all don't want to talk tonight. Listen, I cannot be you and you cannot be me. God has created us both different, but we are all children of the most high God. Y'all caught that revelation tonight? Come on here. God don't need a clone. He don't want a clone of you. He doesn't want a mimic of you. Come on here. He created you. Glory to God. And so it's personal. Somebody shout it's personal. Somebody going to catch that revelation in a minute. And it may have even been for somebody that's going to watch the replay. Glory to God. Because we got to come out of all of this religiosity. We got to come out of all of this form. You know, the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to go here tonight. The Bible says, glory to God, that we should not have a form of godliness and deny his power. Come on. If we either going to look like him or not, we either going to sound like God or not. Come on here. We either going to have his spirit or not. Y'all don't want to talk to the prophet tonight, but I'm going to keep on talking. Come on here. I greet everybody tonight in Jesus name. That's why it is personal. Come on. And when you realize your life with God, your walk with Christ is personal. Let me tell you something. When people start cutting the monkey shine, what you going to do? Cut. Come on, when people start talking about you and being jealous of you and being envious of you, what you going to do? Cut. I'm helping somebody already. Hallelujah. When people show their true colors. Uh-oh, we getting in trouble tonight. I said we getting in trouble. Because <laughs> some of y'all ain't going to have no friends come tomorrow morning. Because you're going to rip. Now I'm talking about fake friends. The fake friends you're going to have to cut. But the real friends are going to remain. That's a word for somebody right there. Because you've been saying, Lord, show me who's really for me and show me who's not for me. I'm talking to somebody tonight. That was somebody's prayer. And I just gave you your answer. By tomorrow morning, God's going to show you who's for you and who's not for you. 
Hallelujah. He's going to reveal to you, glory to God, who's for you and who's not for you. God bless you, Minister Tanya, tonight. Hallelujah. He's going to reveal those things to you. You know, the Bible says, surely the Lord God will do what? Nothing unless he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Come on. God reveals all things to, to, to his prophets. Hallelujah. So many people want revelation, but they're not in a position to receive from God. Let me help you tonight. Glory to God. So many people want the mysteries of God, but amen. They're too carnally minded to handle the mysteries of God. Who am I helping tonight? Hallelujah. So we got to learn to do what? Stay in our own lane. I'm helping somebody in the spirit tonight. Stay in your lane. If God has called you as an intercessor, remain an intercessor. If God has called you as an evangelist, remain an evangelist. If God has called you as a pastor, remain that pastor. Come on here. Whatever God has called you to be in your office and in your title, that's what you remain in. Come on. Glory to God. The Bible says we are all members of one body. Speak Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So we all make up the body of Christ. I'm helping somebody in the spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We all make up the body of Christ. And so what does that mean? You got a part to play and I got a part to play too. But what happens when people are clashing? What happens? Oh, y'all don't want to talk tonight. Well, what happens when you don't know what it is you're supposed to do? You bumping up against this and bumping up against that. And you bucking against the grain and you doing all kinds of things God never told you to do. Here comes confusion. And that's when God said he's not the author of what? Confusion. Come on here. Y'all not talking to me tonight. <laughs> Holy Ghost speaking real good. And I, yeah, ain't nobody saying nothing back. It's okay. <laughs> I love y'all anyway. Glory to God. Listen, sometimes the word got to come the way that it got to come. Amen. Just for you to get a wake up. Come on here. I love when God wake my spirit up. I love when God sends an awakening, a shaking. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love that. Because that means that in one area of my life, I was spiritually dead. Hallelujah. When God speaks to you in a way like this, straight. Come on here, straight. <laughs> come on, somebody. It's just the way that you need it, you know. And now we got people within the body of Christ. They want the word sugar down. They want it watered down. I'm sorry. I can't give you a watered down word. I I'm not even fashioned that way. Come on here. Glory to God. My church ain't even a one, two, three shout church. And I'm so glad about it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm glad. Amen. That we welcome in the presence of God. No goodness of our own. But God is looking for a holy church. Come on. I say God is look. Okay. It's real quiet tonight. Ain't nobody saying nothing. That's why people keep falling. Come on here. So many people keep falling and falling and falling by the wayside. They falling in sin because they're not listening to sound doctrine. Speak Holy Ghost. The Bible says in the last days, man will not be able to endure sound doctrine. They ain't even going to want to hear it no more. And we are in that time right now. People don't want to endure sound doctrine. They don't care about the truth. They want you to tell them a lie. They want you to tell them a fable. You know, people right now, they want you to just, you know, pat their flesh and tell them how wonderful they are. You know, we in a time right now, don't nobody want to suffer. Don't nobody want to labor. I'm talking good in the Holy Ghost. And y'all ain't talking back to me. We're in a time now, nobody wants to sacrifice. Nobody wants to be obedient to God. Everybody want to do what they want to do. <laughs> and still call it God. God does not dwell in disobedience. Uh-oh. I'm getting in trouble already tonight. But it's okay. <laughs> it's a good trouble. Hallelujah. Come on here. We in a time now where people, you know, they paying footsies with the devil. People playing patty cake with the enemy. And then they want to come in the presence of God like everything is okay. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. I said, in his presence, in God's presence, there's fullness of joy. Come on, it's not a funeral when we're in God's presence. We don't, uh, uh, crying and all that. That sounds like a funeral to me. Jesus had already died. He had already paid the price. What are we mourning about? What are we so sad about? Come on here. Who am I helping tonight? What are you so sad about? When Oh, y'all don't want to talk. I feel the Holy Ghost. When, when Jesus paid the price for your sin.
Come on here. If Jesus paid the price for your sin, then, then why are you crying? Why are you mourning? Why you don't have the victory? Hey, hey. Why you don't have the victory? Who am I talking to tonight? You have the victory. Glory to God. Now you got to start walking in the victory. I'm speaking to somebody's spirit right here. Because now it's time for you to come up higher. Come on here. Last week, amen, the Holy Spirit had me to say, it's time to get off the bottle. It's time to take off the bid. Listen, it take, throw the rattle down. Listen, it's time to take the pacifier out of your mouth. And it's time for you to start eating the meat of the word. It's time for you to grow up in the spirit. It's time for, oh, higher did your shot. It's time for God's people to grow up. Come on here. Too, too many babies in the kingdom. Come on, you've been saved for five years. You've been saved for 10 years. And you still a baby? Come on here. You talking about something that's a calling on your life. And you can't even defeat the devil one good time. You can't give the devil a black eye. Come on. You, you can't give the enemy a, a uppercut, a two-piece, a three-piece. <laughs> Come on here. But you talking about God called you to be on the front line. Where? I know it's tight, but it's right tonight. Somebody going to catch this word. And somebody going to say enough is enough. Hey, hey, how you about Shay? Enough is enough. Glory to God. You can't let the devil run circles around your head. You can't let the devil play mind games on you all the time. Come on here. When there's people that's waiting for your victory. Come on. We talked about it on Sunday. The Lord reminded us. He said it was a setback. Hey, shut up for a setup. My Lord, hallelujah. How can we go from hearing one good word, amen, to the next 24 hours, you still defeated? How you go from hearing a good word on a Sunday, then Monday you ain't got no victory? Come on, church. It's time to grow up. Come on, it's time. It's it been time. <laughs> Y'all don't want to talk. Come on here. The Lord, listen, I pray for the church all the time. Glory to God. And I pray for the fivefold ministry. We get ready to go on a fast and a consecration. Amen. June the 7th through the 27th. 21 days of prayer and fasting. The church don't fast no more. Churches ain't praying no more. It's one, two, three, shout. They running all around the place. No victory. Come on here. Defeated in their finances. Defeated in their health. Come on. High up by shape. Hallelujah. How the pastor's sick all the time. How the bishop's sick all the time. How the apostle of the church is sick all the time. Come on, somebody. And ain't nobody praying. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You got apostles now. Amen. They don't have no intercessors. Who am I talking to? You got bishops now. They ain't got no prayer warriors. Hiya by shape. Because everybody worried about themselves. Come on here. Everybody worrying about how they going to come up. <laughs> Come on, everybody in the church talking about when, when it's going to be my turn. It's going to be your turn when you learn how to submit. See, that's the way I was brought up. Come on here. I served three pastors before I started pastoring. Uh-oh. And I'm talking about for years. I ain't talking about for months. I'm talking about for years I served. Who am I helping tonight? I'm talking about years. And I served and I ain't get a salary. I served and I ain't get a pat on the back. Come on here, because I didn't want all that. Holy Ghost speaking real good tonight. Come on here. We'll do things if we get accolades. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll do things. Y'all don't want to. Do y'all want to hear a true word? Or you want something fake, false, and phony? If you want something fake, false, and phony, find another Facebook Live tonight. Find another Instagram Live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you want somebody to tell you how wonderful you are, go, you can go, go, go on somebody else Live. It's okay. It's okay. We love you. We love you. We'll, we'll, we'll still be here preaching holiness. Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll still be right here proclaiming the true word of God. Y'all can come on back when you're ready. You know, but go ahead on. Let, you, let, you, let your flesh be appeased. Because see, hi, y'all by shape. I'm laying the foundation for the word. Some of you, that's all you want is your flesh to be appeased. Oh, if I just had somebody to hug me. Oh, if I just had somebody to love me. Oh, if I just had somebody to tell me they appreciate me. Oh, if I just had somebody to tell me that, you know, uh, it's going to be okay. Oh, if I just had somebody. If somebody would just look at me. If somebody would just treat me nice. If somebody, why don't you depend on God? Thank you for the hearts on Instagram.
It's time for the cycles to be broken. It's time for the chain to come off of your neck. Hey, shut up. It's time for the bondage to be over. Speak, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Because if there's a calling on your life, you got to depend on God first. Hallelujah. Before I even got recognized in the church, my life belonged to the Lord. I knew who called me. Shatanda Baha. Hallelujah. I heard God call my voice in the middle of the night. Glory to God. When I was asleep in my bed. Thank you, Jesus. This was many, many years ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I looked around and I'm like, who's calling me? I'm like, wait a minute. Then I drifted back off to sleep again. And then he's called me again. Carmen. He didn't call me prophetess. He didn't call me pastor. He didn't call me apostle. He called my... Y'all don't want to talk tonight. He called me by my first name twice. And then the very next day, he took me to the scripture where he called Peter. Hayabashay. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he told Peter, he said, Satan desires to sift you like wheat. Mm, glory to God. He said, but I pray for you. Hey, I know I got some Bible scholars tonight. Some of you that know the word of God. Hallelujah. He said, Peter, Simon, Peter, Satan desires. Y'all don't want to talk. Y'all don't want to talk tonight. Come on here. This thing is real. Hallelujah. This, this right here, this thing right here going to cost you everything. Hallelujah. To walk in the anointed, I'm helping somebody. Hallelujah. To walk in your calling, how, to even live right. It's going to cost you something. Glory to God. We got too many jelly back Christians. Too many jelly back believers. We got people that ain't got no victory. You can't even pray for nobody else because you need prayer all the time for yourself. You can't say amen, just say ouch. And after you say ouch, say Lord, fix it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I haven't seen so many people in the body of Christ that don't have no victory. Come on here. No victory at all. God ain't do nothing for you. Come on here. And all over Facebook, people complaining. Come on, all over Facebook, pray for me. I'm going through it. But you got a pastor. You got a leader. Hallelujah. Many of you got apostles. Hallelujah. Come on here. Many of you got leaders and you don't depend on your leader. Come on, somebody. You'll go to somebody that ain't even got a prayer life. You'll go to somebody that ain't, they, they ain't even thinking about you. Come on here. And it's amazing how we depend on people. And we'll say that those people who may do one little thing for you, come on, somebody, but you got to pay them for it. Uh-oh. Holy Ghost speaking real good. If you got to pay somebody for something, that's not help. <laughs> somebody just got their answer right there. I told y'all y'all going to know by the morning who, who's for you and who's not. Come on here. Some of you got to pay your way through life. Shatanda Maha. Somebody got their answer right there. If you got to pay for everything, then that's not, gen that's not being genuine. Come on here. Hallelujah. You should have somebody in your life that's going to help you and don't want nothing in return. Come on, Instagram. Y'all talk back to me. Instagram is hot tonight. They, they hitting the hearts and everything. Glory be to God. Come on here. This word must be for somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And those on our prayer line tonight, God bless you tonight. And welcome, glory to God. Stay right there, those of you that's on our prayer line tonight. Hallelujah. I told you y'all was going to get y'all answered tonight. We can right dive into the word in a minute. But let me tell you something. God is getting ready to reveal the snakes. Hallelujah. God is getting higher to your shot. He's getting ready to reveal those who have hidden motives in your life. Come on here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to reveal the people that mean you no good. Now, when he show you, you can't start complaining now. You just going to have to take it in. 
and just say, okay, God, I got it. I got it. I got it. I already knew, but Lord, I thank you. I already knew God. You already showed me, but thank you for the confirmation. Hallelujah. We always say, God, show me. Or we always say, Lord, I need you. You know, we'll pray a prayer and say, God, you know, uh, um, 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 help me in this area. And then when he revealed to you the snake or he revealed to you the person that got a dagger in your back or he revealed to you the person that's a fake friend, he'll reveal that to you. And then you'll be sitting back talking about, well, God, why you had to do it like that? The Bible says that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And what that means is the way that God sees things, we don't see it that way. We don't see it until revelation comes. Who am I helping? Come on here. That's why revelation is the last book of the Bible. Hallelujah. Revelation is the last book of the Bible. And if you notice, people don't open that. Come on. They don't, they don't go to the book of revelation. You know why? Cause that's the end. That, that tells you, oh, y'all don't want to talk tonight. That tells you about the thing that's going to happen in the end times. Come on here. I listen to pastors, bishops, apostles, leaders in the body of Christ that's teaching from revelation. Come on here. It's not that I don't want to hear the rest of the Bible. Come on, but you, you have to want more of God. Come on, you got to want more of his word. Hallelujah. Some of you, you got to come off the milk. Come on here. You, you got to come off the milk and you got to start eating the word. You got to eat the meat of the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right, Sister Johanna. This is the times we are in. We in the last and evil days. And some of you need to start strategizing. Come on here. Because the devil is fighting you harder than ever before. Come on. We talked about it yesterday in church. Come on. And God began to reveal it's okay that it was a setback for you. Hallelujah. But you're getting ready to receive a victory. You're getting ready to receive another miracle. Hallelujah. But one thing I know about a miracle, a miracle is only something that God can do. Hallelujah. And many of you need miracles, but you're not standing on the word. You're not depending on God. Who am I helping tonight? You're not even obedient to the Lord. Hallelujah. So how can God give you anything in your disobedience? Come on. That's just like a parent. How can a parent reward a child that's disobedient? Come on, Instagram. Y'all talk back to me tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, Facebook. Talk back to me tonight. How can a parent continue to reward a disobedient, disrespectful child? Something wrong with you. Come on. You keep on giving your child stuff and you know they lying. Come on. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got, it we got it messed up. And that's just like the father. God says it's the same thing. You don't obey me. I can't release it. Come on. And God say, listen, what I have. Hi, up, I shake. He says, what I have for you, I can't even give it to you. Come on. What, what I have for you, you're not even ready yet. Shay, shut up. Because mentally, Hallelujah. You got to be ready for the blessing. You got to be ready for the release. Come on. Hallelujah. That's just like if God give a person a whole lot of money and they don't, they, they mentally, they're not ready for it. What they'll do is they'll waste it. They'll splurge it. You know, that's just like the prodigal son. Come on. Let me give y'all some Bible. So, so y'all won't lead alive and say she, she, she was talking good, but she ain't preach good. <laughs> Come on here. That's just like the prodigal son. You know, he, he went to the father. He said, give me everything. I'm ready. I'm ready. The father knew. The father knew he wasn't ready. But he said, you know what, son? You want it. You begging me for it. I'm going to give it to you. Come on. You, you keep at That's some revelation right there. Somebody got the answer. <laughs> I just felt the release in the Holy Ghost. Be careful what you ask God for. Hey, hey. Be very careful what you ask and beg God for. Because he just might give it to you. Come on here. He just might give it to you. Oh, oh, oh somebody. Okay, that, that just went right over top of somebody. You caught that sister, Johanna? It might, listen, don't let it go over top of your head. Come on here. Hallelujah. The prodigal son, he asked his father. He said, I need all the riches. I need all the money. I need everything that, that was spoken over me as a child. I need it right now. The father knew he wasn't ready. And he gave him everything and let him leave the house. Y'all know the story of the prodigal son. He came back with nothing. Come on. He came back stripped of everything. 
I'm helping somebody tonight. I'm on your street tonight and it's all right. Hallelujah. Just lift your hand and tell God, thank you. Come on. If I'm talking to you tonight, just lift your hand and tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God meets us at our point of need. He will meet you right where you are. Come on. He'll answer your question. Why? Because he is the answer. Ah, glory to God. I don't know your situation, but God does. I don't know your problem, but God does. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know your prayer, what you said to God, but he knows. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the prodigal son, he came back, y'all, with nothing. With nothing. Hallelujah. And the father was still merciful. His father said, you know what? Prepare him the fatty calf. In other words, you know what? I know my son going to come back and he ain't got nothing. I know they done used him up. Hallelujah. I know he ain't got nothing. I know he, but he learned the lesson. Come on here. The Bible said that he ran away. He ran with all kinds of women. Come on here. And that's the problem. When you got a lot of stuff, you need to be very careful of who's attached to you. When you got a, oh, I'm, oh Holy Ghost is speaking tonight. When you got a lot of stuff, you got to be very careful who's connected to you. See, they'll be connected to you as long as you got something. My God, they, they'll, y'all don't want to talk. They'll be connected to you as long as you got something. Come on here. But when you ain't got nothing, they don't want to be bothered with you. I do a lot of counseling, you all. Listen, I do a lot of counseling and I see cycles. I see how people are in cycles. Glory to God. I see how people are in cycles. And most of the time it's traditional. Mo I'm sorry. Most of the time it's, it's, it's generational. Most of the time it's generational. It's a generational curse. Come on. Hallelujah. A lot of times people are dealing with rejection and because they've been rejected all their life. Somebody catch this in the spirit. Because you've been rejected all your life, you feel like you got to buy people. You feel like you got to buy their time. You feel like you got to buy their love. I'm helping somebody tonight. And that's because of the rejection that you experienced when you were young. Come on. I'm helping somebody in the Holy Ghost just receive your word tonight and just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And if that word is for you, say, God, I need you to help me. Hallelujah. Lord, I need you to help me in that area. You don't have to buy love. You don't have to buy friendship. Come on here. Glory to God. If you got to wait on God for love, that's what you do. Because somebody will appreciate you for who you are. Come on here. Hallelujah. I don't like when people try to buy me because I can't be bought. Come on here. Hallelujah. I want you to see the genuine part of me, the genuine side of me. Hallelujah. I can't use a person. Who am I talking to? See, many of you can't say that. Come on here. I, I, I've never, I've never even been cold hearted like that to use a person. I see people do it all the time. I see people being manipulated. Glory to God. I see people soon as soon as you come in the room, they like, oh, there they, there they, they go right there. They, they got, they got my money. No, that's their money. Come on here. I'm helping somebody. Come on. Glory to God. No, what you got, God gave you that. Hey, shut up. Hallelujah. And don't let nobody continue to take from you. If you don't give it freely, then don't you give it. Come on. If you don't give it with a sincere heart and a pure motive, don't you give it. Come on. See, I was taught that years ago, many years ago as a teenager. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was taught that. Amen. Because at a very young age, I made a lot of money. Come on here. I made a lot of money. I'm, I'm testifying right here. I always did hair. I, you know, the salon was always crowded. I started doing hair. Um, I started working in the salon in the 10th grade. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A lady um, by the name of Lisa, Lisa Smith. Amen. She was Cleveland. She, she let me work in her salon in the 10th grade. I didn't even have a license. I was going to school to get my license. I had half my hours, but she was such a blessing to be able to let me work in the salon. Come on, what am I saying? Amen, I was making $1,000 a week as a teenager. That's why people don't impress me when they try to buy me. I say, listen, I can make my own money. I'm sorry. Come on here. Come on, some of you don't work two and three jobs. You know what it's like to have money. Don't, don't let people, I don't know why we going here tonight. Somebody need to hear this. Don't let people be moved and don't you be moved, amen, by what people can give you. 
Because that's false. That's fake. Come on. Come on. You always be led by the spirit in what you give and even what you receive. Hmm. That's a golden nugget for somebody. You can put you can put that in your back pocket. Hallelujah. You can use that for the next 5, 10, 15 years. I promise you. I promise you. Glory to God. Some of you need to know your value. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, you got to know that you are valuable. You got to know that you are a diamond. Ladies, you got to know that you are precious. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody walk over you. Come on. See, some, yes, Lord, I hear you. We're going to go here tonight. Some of you are in abusive relationships and you stay in that abusive relationship because all your life you've been abused. So you think abuse is healthy. Somebody shout abuse is not healthy. Come on. Somebody shout abuse is not healthy. Physical abuse, spiritual abuse, mental abuse. Listen, any type of abuse is not healthy. Now we, we just going to let, we going to marinate on that right there. Because that, that was a heavy word right there. That was for somebody. Abuse is not healthy. I don't care what type of abuse it is. Come on. And when you are a child of God, you realize, listen, this is why God is raising up his women. This is why God is raising up the women of God to know your value. Come on here. And this is why also, as I was in prayer, praying for the women worldwide, I was praying and interceding for all the women of God. Hey man, come on, all the women in the body of Christ, God had me to pray for the women today. You know what the Lord showed me? He said, there are many strong, independent women who are waiting on their spouse. Listen, it is. The Lord showed me there are many independent, strong women of God who are waiting to be found. And you know what God revealed to me? He said, daughter, he said, the problem is that there are not enough men who can value a strong, anointed woman. In other words, to the point to where they don't feel intimidated. Come on here. So women of God is not your fault. It's not your fault that God has raised you up to be a strong woman of God. It's not your fault that, you know, you've been through so many tests and trials. Blessed to you, Prophet Cedric. God bless you, man of God. You know, it's not your fault, women of God, you know, that, that, that you had to go through some things and, you know, you, you've overcome You've overcome some obstacles. You've overcome some situation. But now it's time for you to see the diamond that God has called you to be. Come on. Stop making bad decisions and bad choices based upon how people treat you or how much money they give you or, you know, how much they serenade you or how much they tell you how beautiful you are. Come on here. I tell my daughters all the time, you're beautiful. Come on, somebody. And I tell my daughters that all the time so they're not caught up when somebody says how beautiful you are. Come on. As parents, we got to start putting this in our children. We got to start implementing even in our young boys. You got to tell your young sons, you are a man of God. I don't care what anybody says to you. You are a man of God. You are a strong man of God. You are anointed. You are gifted. You are talented. Hallelujah. Even if your child got one talent, that's all right. Help them work that one talent. Hey, shut up. I feel a release tonight. I didn't come on here for all of this, but somebody needs to hear this and somebody's going to watch the replay. Glory to God. I'm pouring out tonight through the spirit of God. God has given it to me because as the body of Christ, we got to come up higher. We got to come up higher. We got to come out of our childish ways. We got to come out of our carnal thinking, you know. Come on, I heard a preacher say one time, stinking thinking. I said, oh yeah, that, that sounds about right. We got to come out of all of that, you know. The Bible says that we can't be carnally minded. Amen. The Bible says that the carnal mind is an enemy to God. So how can we say we love God, but we in our flesh all the time? Come on here. Our mind is in the flesh all the time. Woe is me. Look what they did to me. They ain't treating me right. They not treating me fair. Okay. Okay. We got that part. What you going to do about it? Come on. What are you going to do about it? How long are you going to continue to stay in that situation? How long? Who am I helping tonight? How long are you going to continue to be belittled? Talked down to. Degraded. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How long are you going to allow people to continue to, 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 to um, speak you out of things? 
when God is calling you to something great. Amen. The Lord is calling you to, to something greater. Hallelujah. I'm helping somebody in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still, I'm still in my message. Amen. Because the message tonight is submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. And give God another yes. Hallelujah. After you do all that, give God another yes. Hallelujah. After you submit to God, resist the devil and watch him flee and go away from you. Give God another yes. See, it's one thing when the enemy leaves you alone. Listen to this. You know, because the Bible even talks about it in the book of Matthew. You know, with, with um, Jesus cast a demon out of the man, you know, and the demons came out of the man. And the Bible said that, you know, those demons, um, they came back. To see if the house was garnished. You know those demons came back to see. If they could still come back to the dwelling place. Because that's what it means. You know our house is our temple. And so whenever you purge. Or whenever you've been delivered. Just know the devil's going to come back. But there, if there's an entryway. That's why I tell my members stay clean. Stay clean. Stay holy. Listen if God deliver you stay clean. Stay holy. Come on get your mind out of the perversion. Come on live holy. Live right. And all sin ain't sexual either. Come on here. All sin is not sexual. Let, let, let's get that out of our mind. You know, we believe, oh, I ain't, I'm not fornicating. No, no, no. You might be lying. You might be gossiping. You might be the biggest gossiper. Just running your mouth. Come on here. Always got something to say. Come on. That's sin too. Because now you're defeating, you're, you're, you're stopping the blessings to, that, that want to flow in your life because your mind is on negative things. The Bible says, think on these things. Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. God says, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, he says what? Think on these things. Hallelujah. So we have to think on things that are good. Who am I helping tonight? We, we got to think on things that are lovely, things that are of a good report. God says, that's what I want. Hi, Yabashi. Mm. Oh, I just felt the release for somebody. God is shifting your mindset even now. He says, think on the things that are good. Hallelujah. Things that are lovely, things that are, that are of a good report. He says, if there be any praise in that woman of God, Betty. He says, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, and virtue represents anointing. Come on, virtue represents substance. Ha, huh? glory to God. Here's some revelation for somebody. He says, I need you to think on those things. So in other words, don't think on things that are on the surface. Ha, huh? glory to God. But think on those things that are deep. You know, the Bible says the deep calleth unto the deep. Hallelujah. I can only minister to those of you right now because in the realm of the spirit that I'm in is a deep level right now. So some of you are sitting there scratching your head saying, what is she talking about? But then some of you can understand and you can relate because you've been praying these prayers. Hallelujah. So God had me to come on your level. Come on here. Somebody may say, you know, why is the message coming like this tonight? I need a feel good message. I want to jump. I want to shout. Well, this is how God is delivering it tonight. Take it up with him. Amen. Come on, somebody. But receive the word of the Lord. Come on. Sometimes we need it just like this. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need a straight message to come exactly the way that it needs to come. Come on, somebody. It's 20 viewers on Facebook. But if I was prophesying, you know, a night of the prophetic, we go up to 70, 80 viewers. Let, let me just let me just say this real quick. Let me, I'm, you know, it's a sidebar. But it's amazing how. <laughs> on a Friday night, the night of the prophetic, when I'm prophesying, we got 70, 80. One time we even went up to 100. But a, a night like this, a teacher like this, tell the devil no. Nobody wants to share that. But the devil running circles around your head, your family member's head. Some of you got some co-workers the devil is fighting, but you ain't sharing it with them. Some of you got co-laborers in the gospel. You know they going through. But, but you won't share this type of message. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You too, you too scared to, to share this. Or, or they might not like me no more because I'm connected to prophetess, you know. And her ministry is raw. So, so you don't share. 
<laughs> you, you know, you want to come get your blessing, speak Holy Ghost, but you don't want nobody else to know. Speak, Lord. <laughs> See how sad the church has become? The time will come when men and women will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to hear this. No. You want to know where the house is, where the money is, where, you know, you, you want me to tell you when you're going to get married. Well, you don't even keep a clean house. I just got in trouble right there. You don't need not to wash dishes, but you ready for a husband. You can't bake. But you want a husband. Attitude nasty. You ready to get married though? I'm ready to jump the broom. I done picked out my dress. I got a nice ring. I got a nice dress. I know who gonna be in the wedding. You don't even pray for that man. All right, because my face tells it all. Let me let me <laughs> let me bring it on in. <laughs> Come on here. A lot of times we're not ready for what we're asking for, not even just marriage. A lot of times we're not even ready to carry this gospel. Come on, carrying the word of God is gonna cost you everything. Come on here, because before you preach it, you gotta live it. And if you preaching it and ain't living it, woe unto you. We got a lot of people, a lot of people talking a good talk and ain't living a hill of beans. Come on here. Glory to God. And then the true prophet sees it. Oh, we see it. The true prophets, we see it, but we don't say anything. Come on. Well, we, we don't, I don't say a lot. Somebody could be lying to me, looking me right in my face, and I just say, okay. Come on. I could be having a conversation with a person, and I just say, oh, okay, really? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on here. Glory to God, because the true prophet uses, uses, uses wisdom. Come on, God will give you wisdom. Who am I helping tonight? We're going to dive in this word in a minute. But God wants to give you wisdom over anything. And the wisdom of God comes freely. It's in the book of James. The Bible says, he that lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives liberally, freely. Come on, if you need wisdom, ask God. He'll give it to you. Thank you all for sharing. I see the numbers going up. Come on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's what the Bible says. Amen. When you lack wisdom, if you don't have wisdom in an area, ask God. Come on, ask God. He'll give it to you. Hallelujah. And it's nothing like walking in the wisdom of God. It's nothing like being a wise woman of God, a wise man of God. Who am I helping tonight? See, the church don't teach this no more because the church would just tell you, you so gifted and you so wonderful. You about to travel the world, but you ain't got no integrity and no type of character. So all you going to do is just be preaching all over the place. You ain't got no love for nobody. You, you see a homeless person. You can't even give them no money for food. When Jesus told us to feed the hungry, he told us to clothe the naked. Hallelujah. But nobody has enough discernment to know who's in the church and they don't have no clothes. 
Come on, nobody has enough discernment in our churches to know who ain't got no food. Thank you all for sharing. We don't have enough discernment, but we're so gifted. We're so talented. We don't know who in our family getting ready to die. Come on here. Hallelujah. We have no idea that our siblings might be sick. But we so anointed. I'm the prophet. God been showing me people that I don't even know. The Lord has been giving me dreams about people that I don't even know personally. And he says, pray for this person. Pray for that person. And I'm like, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I told God the other day, I said, Lord, you show me more with my eyes closed than my eyes open. Hmm. That's revelation for some prophets tonight. God's going to show you more with your eyes closed than your eyes open. I don't know who that was for. I just heard five. So five of you. That was for five of you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. It was for five of you. He's going to show you more with your eyes closed than with your eyes open. What does that mean? That doesn't mean that you walk around all day with your eyes closed. What that means is when you are asleep, when you are resting, speak Holy Ghost, God's going to give you what it is that he has for you to know and how to pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord says that's one of his secrets, one of his mysteries that I just revealed through the spirit of God. Hmm. Somebody may say that doesn't make sense. But when it's God, it does make sense. Come on. He's going to start revealing to many of you while you are asleep. Speak Holy Ghost. And that's for some prophets. And I heard five. Glory to God. We got 21 viewers here. Four viewers there. And I believe we got 12 callers on the prayer line tonight. Hmm. Whew. My God. Let's dive into the word. This is a heavy night tonight. I feel it. Amen. I feel it. I feel the spirit of the Lord heavy tonight. Glory to God. And I bless the Lord for how he's moving and how he's speaking on tonight. Glory to God. We have to be ready to hear what thus saith the Lord. You know, the Bible says he that has an ear. Amen. Sister Johanna, she says, I've been dreaming lately. Wow. Speak Holy Ghost. Yes. I'm telling you, God is doing it. He's doing it because it's something strategic. It's something strategic. You know, the other day I was sitting in my room. Let me help. Let me help some of the prophets out tonight. I was sitting in my room and I wanted to start talking. I wanted to start talking, you know, start talking out. Right. I wanted to start talking out. And um, I heard the Lord say, don't say what I just told you. I said, hmm. Okay. And so I had to hold it. I'm helping somebody. I'm helping somebody in the spirit. I had to hold that word. Glory to God. I couldn't even say it out of my mouth. See, we are in a time. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He says, release it now. We are in a time right now. Prophets, hear me and hear me well. And this ain't for everybody. Some of y'all really ain't prophets. Y'all, Y'all need to stop. Some of y'all really don't hear God. You really need to stop. I'm talking to the prop. So you, you won't you won't hear from nobody else. You gonna hear it here. Come on. You may have a prophetic call on your life, but many of you are not prophets. A prophet prophesies the word of the Lord. A prophet hears from God. Prophets walk very close with God. Hey, shut up. Listen, prophets, we walk very, 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 very close with God. God may tell you to leave a place and go to the land that he's shown you. And you got to leave everybody in that place. Ask Abraham. Go ahead and read about Abraham. Abraham had to leave his family. 
Come on. You know, and this is what I'm saying. Many of you are not really prophets, but you claim to be a prophet because you have a prophetic anointing on your life. There is a difference. One that has a prophetic anointing may be a prophetic psalmist. You may even pray prophetically. Come on. You, you, you tap into the realm of the spirit through the prophetic, but you're not a prophet. Come on. You may even dance prophetically. <laughs> so that means that you have a prophetic anointing on your life, but you are not, <laughs> you are not one who is a prophet of the Lord. Come on. I'm glad to help you, brother Cedric. I'm so glad to help you through the spirit of God because the body of Christ needs help. The body of Christ needs help. I'm telling you, the body of Christ needs help. Amen. And I forgot the, po the point that I was trying to say before we even went into the prophets. But it's okay. I believe the Lord will bring it back to me. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're in a time now, you know, where the Bible says, make your calling and election sure. You have to make sure that you are in the right vein of God. You have to make sure that what God has called you to do, you're in the right position. Come on. Glory to God. Some of you, yes, Lord, I hear you. Some of you have the gift of helps. Some of you are called to just help. And you have to understand when you have the gift of helps, that means you genuinely want to help. Naturally, you're, you're born with that. You just want to help. You have the gift of helps. Come on. Glory to God. And you have to know what your gifting is in the body of Christ. And if you don't know, we can go on a fast. Fast with us. Fast and pray with us for these 21 days. Amen. And let God reveal to you what he has called you to do. Listen, people don't even fast anymore. People don't consecrate anymore. I can truly say, and I'm testifying right here. I want to help somebody. I would not be in this place I'm in in God if I didn't consecrate myself. Come on. And I'm talking about a consecration with just me and God. Come on. A, a true consecration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God just brought it back to me. Yes. Hallelujah. I was speaking about when I was in the room and how God had, had told me don't release it yet. There are times that God will tell you. He'll say just hold that word. Don't release that word yet. This is the time we're in. We can't say everything that we're thinking. Speak, Lord. We can't say everything that God is speaking to us either. We have to speak it as God is saying it. It has to come through a, it has to come at like a fountain. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I haven't even got to my notes. And God gave me these notes about three hours ago. Two to three hours ago, the Lord gave me this, but I can't even touch this yet. Because there are many souls in the balance tonight. And what I'm speaking out of my mouth is what you need. Hallelujah. So there are going to be times that you got to yield your body. You got to yield your body to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, when God has your body, he got your mind. He got your spirit. He has your mouth. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Many of you want to know the word, the way of God. Many of you, yes, Lord, I hear you. Many of you want to know the way of God. Many of you want to know the will of God for your life. I hear God. He says that he's going to reveal to you his will for your life. He's going to reveal to you the way that you should go. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. The Bible says no man, nobody, no woman can come to God, can come to the Father, except they come through Jesus. Hey, shut up. So that destroys all these false religions. That destroys Jehovah Witness. Come on, somebody. That destroys the Muslims. Y'all don't want to talk. That destroys being a Buddhist, being Catholic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some of y'all might be that. But that, that, it destroys all of that. Why does it destroy those religions? Because Jesus said the only way you can come, the father said the only way that you can come to him is through his son. Come on. Come on. Come on. The only way that we can come to the father is through Jesus. Now, how many of you have really gone through him? Let me get a little close. <laughs> how many of you have really accepted the Lord as your Lord and Savior? You accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Come on. 
Some of you got to go back. And the Bible says it's okay because he's married to the backslider. See, once you have backslidden, see, see how God got my mouth? I can't even get to this right here. Because somebody is backslidden that's on this broadcast tonight. And you may even be on the prayer line. Listen, God is married to you. He's married to the backslider. So when you have backslidden, you have to come back to God. Y'all caught that revelation? He says, listen, he says, I'm married to the backslider. But you got people that have backslidden and they have not rightfully come back to God. Come on. You got people that have backslidden. Come on. Come on. You got people that have left the faith and then they just come back like nothing never happened. Come on. So what that means is you got to come back to God now. Oh, somebody caught that in the spirit. Listen, listen. And see, this is why many people feel depleted. This is why many people feel, you know, and this is why David said, Lord, he said, Lord, I messed up so much. He said, but God, take not your Holy Spirit from me. In Psalm 51, you know, David realized he sinned against God. And that is one of our scriptures, Psalm 51. We're going to be meditating on in his 21 days of fasting and prayer. The whole Psalm 51. Psalm 51 is a psalm of repentance. Maybe we need to read it tonight. Hallelujah. If the Lord leads me to read it, I'm going to read it tonight. Amen. But David said in Psalm 51, what did he say? He said, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. See, David realized that, that the Holy Spirit could, could come away from him. The Holy Spirit could come out of him. Come on. So you got people now that believe, no, the spirit going to stay in me. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. The spirit of the Lord can depart from you at any time. Come on. God says that he said no unclean thing will dwell in the temple. In other words, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said his spirit will only dwell in a clean place. It's quiet. It's quiet. It's quiet tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. Many people, the spirit of the Lord has departed a long time ago. And that's the spirit of Ichabod. Come on here. That's the spirit of Ichabod. Come on. I'm, I'm teaching real good in the Holy Ghost. The spirit of Ichabod means that the spirit of the Lord has departed. And once the spirit of the Lord has departed from you, you got to cry out to God again. Come on. And we have many people that are just like that. In the body of Christ, listen, <laughs> going through the fanatics, you know, just doing whatever. And, you know, they don't have his spirit. Come on. The Lord gave me, what was it, two weeks ago? The Lord gave me the question to ask the question. Amen. He said, many of my people are saved, but they don't have my spirit. And so I asked the question, how many of you have this, the Holy Ghost? See, you don't hear that anymore. Come on, because it was the old mothers that was praying for you and praying you through in the church. Said, baby, come on, you need the Holy Ghost so you can learn how to live. Come on, you got to live right. And only the Holy Spirit can teach you how to live right. Come on here. The pastor can't teach you how to live right. The pastor feeds you the word of God. My job as your pastor is to feed you the word of God. And it's up to you to receive the word of God. Come on, I can't make you live right. Come on, you have to desire the Holy Spirit. Somebody got the answer right there. Come on. The more you wrestle with God, listen, the more that you wrestle with him, the more that, that you try to go against the grain, the more that you say, I'm going to do it my way. You know, I, I, I feel like this. I feel like that. What happens is you, you're going against the grain. You're pushing God away. When he's trying to usher, oh God, yes, Lord. He's trying to usher his spirit into you. Hallelujah. But you keep pushing him out. Who am I helping tonight? And if you keep pushing out the Holy Spirit, God is a gentleman. He's never going to force himself on us. We have to welcome him in. This is why we welcome in the Holy Spirit in our services. We welcome in the Spirit of God. This is why when we wake up in the morning, good morning, Holy Spirit. Come on, before you say good morning to anybody, even if you're married, before you roll over to your spouse, you say good morning, Jesus. Thank you for waking me up. Because your spouse didn't wake you up. The knock on the door from your children didn't wake you up. Come on here. It was God who woke you up. Come on. We have to put God back in his rightful place. Who am I helping tonight? 
Who am I helping tonight? If I'm helping you, hit those hearts for Jesus. Come on. If I'm helping you through the Spirit of God, hit those hearts for Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Hit those hearts for the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Hit those hearts for Jesus. Give God some praise right here, people of God. Hallelujah. All is not lost because guess what? Jesus didn't come back yet. All is not lost. You still got time to get it right. Come on. All is not lost. Hallelujah. Listen, all is not lost. The message title tonight, amen, is tell the devil no. Some of you need to tell the devil no. Glory to God. But you can only tell the devil no when you are tired of the devil. Listen, listen, listen. Let me help somebody tonight. You can only resist the devil when you are tired of his tricks. You can only resist the devil when you are tired of falling in every trap. Shatanda Baha. Speak Holy Ghost. You can only resist the devil, hallelujah, when you are really sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. Somebody shout, Pastor, you speaking real good tonight. You speaking to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Tell the devil no. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We got to get in a place where we start telling the devil no. Listen, the more you keep the door open for the enemy, he, not only is he going to take an inch, Listen, he's going to take a whole yard. Glory to God. And after you know it, you look up. And next thing you know, he, he done, his, his whole body is in. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The, the enemy, his whole body is in now. Who am I helping tonight? His whole body is in, you know. And now he, he got a hold of everything. And you trying to resist him, but it's too late. Come on. You got to go back to the beginning. James chapter 4, verse 7. Come on, James chapter 4, verse 7 says what? Submit yourselves to God. Come on, we're going to slow up the word tonight. Is that all right? Come on. Listen, because a lot of times people want to just resist the devil. I'm going to resist the devil. I see the devil. There he go. He working again. He doing this. He doing that. You can say what the devil is doing, but you got to do the first part. Come on, James chapter 4, verse 7. We shifting right here. Come on. Glory to God. Let's turn to James chapter 4, verse 7. Those of you on our prayer line, stay right there. Glory to God. Somebody's getting their answer tonight. I feel a release tonight. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Relena says you speak it to me. You know, Sister Relena, I'm so glad that you're still here. Amen. I'm so glad that you're still here and that the ministry, amen, is able to even minister to your spirit tonight. Glory to God. Because you've been connected for some time, but now it is really time to to really be a part sister sister relena it's time for you to really be a part now because listen time is winding up the devil is running havoc <laughs> listen and somebody posted on instagram that's why we need a covering that's right that's right glory to god many of you need a covering Hallelujah. Listen, glory to God. If you have questions about your pastor, are they capable about covering you? Then you don't have the right covering. But the moment you can say, you know what? I trust the God in them. I know that God has sent them my way. When you can say that, then that's your covering. Come on. That's your apostle. That's your prophet. That's your pastor. That's your teacher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody else caught that. Amen. Glory to God. So it's time. It's time. Hallelujah. It is time. Glory to God. Time is winding up. Amen. James chapter 4 verse 7. Y'all still with me? I need all 20 people to share this, this broadcast one more time. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right, Sister Johanna. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. You got to have a pastor. I'm telling you. You must have a leader. Listen, we in the time now. Because see what your leader does. The leader studies the word of God while you sleep. Come on, the leader is praying for you and your family while you're sleeping. Come on, all throughout the day, your leader, amen, is praying that the fiery darts don't come against you and your family. Come on, hallelujah, a true shepherd, a true pastor, a true leader, glory to God, is, you're not just going to see them on a Sunday. In other words, they're pouring into your spirit all the time the word of God. I'm talking about true leader. I'm not talking about these fly-by-nights, you know, these people that just do whatever they want to do. I'm not talking about that. Amen. You can't even find your pastor. You going through and you can't even, you can't even, you sending emails after emails and you just, you just can't get in touch with them. I'm not talking about that. 
Amen. Come on. I'm talking about someone who is reachable. Come on. That's a true leader. Amen. That avails their time to you. Come on. Holy Ghost speaking real good. You know, and many of you need that. You know you need that. But sometimes pride will get in the way. Who am I helping tonight? And when pride gets in the way, right before pride comes destruction, it comes a fall. Come on. That's the Bible, right? And so we don't want that to happen. Amen. I had dynamic pastors in my life. My former pastor, when the Lord told me it was time for me to go, I cried like a baby. What am I saying? I know that I needed a leader to help me on my journey. I couldn't make it by myself. I know that I needed somebody to help me pray with my children and pray for my children. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I, I just knew within my spirit I couldn't do it by myself. Nowadays, you got people. I, I'm going to read the word myself. I'm going to do my own Bible study. Okay, well, you do your own Bible study then. Then when you don't understand the word you're reading, what you going to do? Come on. Come on. When that devil start fighting you, them witches and them warlocks start coming against you because you want to be prophesying all over the place. You want to be praying for everybody. That's another thing. Some of you opening the door. Speak Holy Ghost. Some of you are opening the door. You praying for other people and you wonder why all these spirits are coming into your house. Come on. Come on. You wonder why all of this stuff is coming your way because you're not covered. You're doing all these works. And come on here. It's not to say that you don't have the gift. Come on. But if God ain't called you to pray for the world, don't pray for the world. <laughs> it's just that simple. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you got to be careful. Y'all got to be. Listen, some of y'all just overstepping boundaries. You're just doing too much. I'm just going to call it like I see it. You're just doing too much. They want you here, there, and everywhere, and God wants you still. They want you over here, but you know God telling you to be still. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's, it's good tonight. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's, it's real good. It's all God. Amen. It is all God. I take no credit. I take no credit. Half of the stuff y'all going through, I don't even know. I have no idea, but God knows. He got my mouth. Listen, I, I give him praise. I give God glory and honor. I don't know, but he does. So receive the word tonight. Don't be mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Don't, don't shoot me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Take it up with him. Come on. If it's your word, just say, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Help me to do better. Lord, I receive. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for correction. Thank you for rebuke. Thank you. Thank you, God, for ministering to my spirit when I needed you the most. Thank you, Lord, because I feel like I'm dying spiritually. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for even using this vessel tonight. See, some, yes, Lord, I hear you. Some of you don't receive the word because you upset about the way it's coming. You upset about the package. I tell y'all all the time, please don't look at me. I represent the Lord, so I don't come any kind of way. In other words, I represent God and I'm going to continue to represent him well. Amen. In other words, I'm going to keep myself to par. Come on here. But I tell you all, don't look at the package. Please don't look at the package because if you look at the package, you're going to miss God. Come on. If you pay attention to me, you're going to miss him. You're going to miss him. It's going to go right on top of your head. Come on. I can't help the way he made me and how he fashioned me. All right. But one thing I can say is this. Many of you are missing the blessing because you're looking at the package. I've had people say to me, you are the not dynamic pastor. You are a dynamic leader. You're an awesome prophet. But I can't sit under your ministry because you're a woman. That part. <laughs> that part. I said, Wow.
Come on. Think about that for a minute. You know, people know they need to sit under your ministry, but they won't for this reason and for that reason. I'll be obedient as long as I could do this part. But the other stuff, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing, no, I got a tithe, I got to give my offering, no, I, I, I just want to hear the good stuff, just tell me all the good stuff, but if it's correction and rebuke and discipline, I, no, I got to change this, I got, no, I got to submit, no, I don't want to do that part, y'all know I'm telling the truth, that's the saints. As soon as it's time for a financial blessing, uh, let me tie. Let, let me get a seed in the ground. Because I, I know God going to bless. Let me just. That's not how a harvest comes. <laughs> a harvest comes from multiple seeds. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. A harvest. And I'm laughing in the Holy Ghost because that's what people do. They say, oh my goodness, I made a vow to the ministry. Let me, let me go ahead in time because I need the Lord to move. And let, me, let, me, let me get back on course. Let me let it. No. It, that, that's not how it works. Come on. It, it does not work that way. And then you get disappointed when you go ahead and sow one seed or two seeds. And you're like, where's my harvest? Where's my release? God might have kept your mind. He might have kept your mind from something so that you didn't lose your mind. That was the blessing. Woo. You looking for it in money. You want the mortgage company to write your mortgage off. You talk about, oh, I've been sowing in this ministry. I've been sowing. This is what I want you to do, God. He might save your child. Shatanda mm. Baha. Hallelujah. He might cover your baby out there that just got shot at. Come on here. Hallelujah. He might save your wayward daughter that's been running and being promiscuous, but now she done came back home and said, Mom, Dad, I need you. Woo, God. Mm. We don't know how the Father's going to bless. We just know he's going to bless. He just wants your obedience. Come on. God just wants our obedience. That's all. That's all. Stop trying to figure God out and just obey the word. We got to stop trying to figure everything out. Oh, God, if I do this, then you're going to do that. Oh, God, if I, if I go here, you're going to do this. No. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. Listen, I've been following God for a long time. <laughs> Listen, and, and even in those, yes, Lord, I hear you. Even in those moments where he's silent, when God is silent, let me help somebody. When God is silent, you have you asked him a question, and he ain't moved yet, and he's quiet for a season. Oh, you about to experience an exuberant blessing. Listen, something great is about to come, and all God wants is your obedience. That's all he wants. Listen, while you're waiting, serve him. Come on, hallelujah. While you're waiting, who am I helping tonight? Hallelujah. While you're in the waiting room, serve him. Glory to God. While you're in the waiting room, serve him. Come on, man of God. Come on, woman of God. You serve God while you're waiting. Oh, that's a word for somebody tonight. So many people while they're waiting on God, they get discouraged. Mm. They get discouraged. They throw in the towel. Come on here. They, they stop, they stop, you know, giving, they stop praying, they stop fasting. Come on. And it really cracks me up when they say, God told me to stop. I'm like, God told you to stop? Wait a minute, so God told you, so he went against his own word? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, I, I'm confused now. Oh, they say that too. Oh, pastor, the Lord told me, you know, to, to go on my own sabbatical. You know, the Lord, <laughs> when the ministry going forth, no, you just don't want to be obedient. Come on. See, there, there, see, there's a confession right there. There's a confession. Brother Cedric said, I stopped giving. See? Come on. See? But when you be real, that's when you get delivered. 
Come on. When you be real, that's when you get set free. Come on, we got all these excuses. Come on, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on, y'all caught it, right? Y'all back on the train now? Y'all back on the train with me? <laughs> all right. It's very easy. It's very easy. Because when the train come to your stop, you right there, just jump on the train. Just, just jump on the train with us. Come on. Some of y'all, the train picking you back up again. Come on, just, just, just get, get on the train. Because it's moving. Come on, right, Sister Joanna? Listen, listen, I'm at your stop right now. Come on, Holy Ghost at your stop. Get on the train. Come on. Get back on board. Shatana Baha. Hallelujah. Get, get back on board. Hallelujah. Get back in the flow of everything that you've been doing. Because, see, you can't miss your harvest. And that's what the devil wants you to miss. See, he'll fight you tooth and nail. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says you did run well, but who hindered you? What hindered you? What got in the way? Woo. That's why you got to watch people. Come on, you got to watch the opinions of people. Come on, you got to watch what people say from the outside. You know, the naysayers, that's what that means. Naysayers. You know, the naysayers, the gainsayers. It's biblical. It's in the Bible. Come on, naysayers, gainsayers. Come on, they, they don't want to see you prosper in the things of God. Come on, so they'll come up against any and everything that God is telling you to do. Come on, that's right. That's right, Sister Relena. She said, I'm back on board. Come on here. Hallelujah. Start obeying God and follow what God is saying to do and watch things pick back up again. Hallelujah. And most of all, God's going to give many of you back your joy. Let me just testify real quick, and we're going to turn to, um, I believe we are James chapter um, 4, verse 7. Let me testify right here. God will give you back your joy. It's nothing, listen, it's nothing like joy. Listen, listen, you could, you could not have a lot of money in the bank, but if you got your joy, whew, my God. Because see, when you got joy, joy and peace go hand in hand. <laughs> Mm. But see, when the enemy is involved, you lose your joy. You ain't got no joy. You ain't got no peace. Come on, you trying to figure out how you're going to do this and how you're going to do that. You trying to make ends meet. Come on, instead of God saying, just trust me. Hallelujah. God is saying, just trust me. Hallelujah. Trust me with your finances. Glory to God. Trust me with your children. Hallelujah. Trust me with your marriage. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, that's when, when you get to that place. Hallelujah. I felt the release for somebody right there. That's when God says, listen, you're trusting me, so I got to move. When you start trusting God, let me tell you something. He got to move. Because if God don't move on your faith, when he told you to have faith, listen to this. He said, have faith in God. He said, have faith in him. He said in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Come on, and lean not to your own understanding. He said, in all your ways. He said, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Come on. Come on, God said, trust him. Come on, trust him. Hallelujah. Don't trust people, but trust God. Glory to God. He'll give you back your joy. He'll give you back your peace. And I hear God saying, some of you, he's going to restore your love. Glory to God. You'll be surprised when you go through storms. I don't know who this is for tonight. I believe this is for a few of you. You'll be surprised when you go through a storm, what it strips from you. Come on, I'm, I'm on a lot of y'all street tonight right here. Listen, because I feel a mighty release getting ready to come. Listen, when you are in a storm, you are in a crisis, you are in a situation, and you're going through it, and it's full, it's full pace. You know, it, it just keeps on coming, keeps on coming. There's no relief. There's no release either. What happens is it strips you. Glory to God. It, it'll, it'll take things from you that you once had before. This is when God says, and I will restore unto you. Hallelujah. God says, and I will restore unto you the years. Who am I talking to? He says, and I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten. Come on. That the canker worm. This is for somebody tonight. 
the caterpillar, the palmer worm. He says, my great army, which I sent among you. He says, I will restore everything you lost. Glory to God. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. God restored me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then after God restored me, amen, he restored my situation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God will restore you, but you got to be patient. Come on. You got to do what God has said. Y'all don't want to talk. Y'all don't want to talk. Y'all don't want to talk. Listen, <laughs> restoration is getting ready to come for many of you. For those of you that lost a whole lot of things. <laughs> mm. Right here, you need to lift your hand high and tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. Some of you got testimonies that God has begun the restoration. Woo. Those of you that are connected with our ministry, some of you members, some of you covenant partners, you got a testimony right now that God has begun the restoration process. He has begun restoring you. Yeah. <laughs> and to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Some of you got it at our women's conference. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Some of you got it just from being connected to our ministry. God is restoring your finances. He's restoring your health. Glory to God. Some of you were sick. Glory to God. And then you got connected to the ministry. Now your healing is here. Hey, higher did the old shot. Glory to God. Now your healing. Ha, glory. Hallelujah. God has healed your body. He healed your mind. He restored your peace. Come on, prophetess Tina. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just when you thought you was going to lose your mind, here comes Jesus and give you your mind back. Shatanda Maha. But let me just say this. When God give you your mind back, guess what? Guess what, people of God? When he give you your mind back, your mind is better <laughs> than when you first lost it. Come on. <laughs> Anything that God gives you back, he doubles it. <laughs> Woo! Hiya, Bashe. Glory to God. I'm going to say that again for those who want to catch it in the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, prophetess, I'm catching it. I'm catching it. Hallelujah. God going to give you double. Shatanda Baha for all that you have lost. My God, my God. We talked about Job last week. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I hear you. We're going to get in this message in just a minute. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Ghost is speaking. Hallelujah. Sister Johanna says um, the women's conference was a life changer. Come on here. Testify. 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 Hallelujah. Testify. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God's going to give you double. Hallelujah. We talked about Job. Hallelujah. And how Job... Amen. Received double. But listen, it wasn't until he had the assignment to pray. Amen. He had to pray for his friends. He had lost everything. Glory to God. Y'all got to excuse me. My lips are dry. Listen. Mm. Listen, he lost everything, right? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, he lost everything. And because he lost everything, he didn't give up on God. Listen. Listen, the Bible said that even Job's wife told them to curse God and die. How many of you were just in situations where people told you just leave it all? Some of you were in situations people told you you might as well just turn, just, just turn your back and go the other way. Glory to God. Some of you just came out of a situation where people told you, uh-uh, mm -mm, don't, 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 you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Oh, that's what you think your healing is? That's what you think your release is? That's what you think your deliverance is? And they told you it was not there. And you trusted God and you stepped out on God. <laughs> hallelujah. And you realize, who am I helping tonight? You realize, hallelujah, that what they were saying was wrong. And you realize that now, hallelujah, that God has made a way of escape for you. God has given you another chance. Hallelujah. Just like Job. Glory to God. God said to Job, he said, listen, listen, I need you to pray for your friends. We shifting right here. Let's go to Job, y'all. Let's go to Job chapter 42. Glory to God. Let's go there. We got to go there tonight. Hallelujah. Because I feel double in my spirit. 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody needs double tonight. I feel it. I feel it all in my belly. Glory to God. Come on, let's turn to Job 42. God is shifting this message. Listen, we'll get to this um, on Wednesday night, all right? Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, let's, let's, let's turn to Job real quick. Come on. I know some of y'all heard the message a couple weeks ago. Come on, but somebody's going to receive double tonight. Somebody's going to receive double tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's me. It's me. Glory to God. It's me. It's me. For all that I've lost, for all that I had to go through, I'm going to receive double hallelujah i'm gonna get double yes lord the bible says in job, job chapter 42 verse 10 it says and, and the lord turned the captivity of job when he had prayed for his friends also the lord gave job twice as much as he had before mm -hmm. verse 11 then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all um they that had been it, that had been his acquaintance before so his family and his friends, they now came around. Listen to this. And did eat bread with him in his house. And they be mourned him. In other words, they said, I'm so sorry for all that you have lost. I'm so sorry you had to go through that job. And they comforted him all over all of the evil, amen, that had happened to him. And every man also had gave him a piece of money. And everyone had given him an earring of gold. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Come on. So y'all heard that, right? So all his friends and his acquaintance was around the table. They ate with him and they said, Job, we so, we so sorry that you lost everything. Listen to this. And they gave him what? A piece of money. Mm -hmm. And they gave him an earring of gold. See, back in Bible times, that was important. You know? Amen. Uh, verse 12. Glory to God. Just bear with me for a minute, you all. Let's read verse 12. Y'all got your Bibles out? So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Now, if you go back to the beginning of Job, you will see that he had 10 children. Listen, Job had, he had a fleet of cattle. He had a fleet of um, donkeys. Listen, he had so many animals. Glory to God. He had a lot of, of, of culture. In other words, he had a lot of substance. Glory to God in the very beginning. Catch this revelation. But the Bible says, and the Lord blessed his latter days. The Lord blessed his ending uh huh, more than his beginning. Come on. That's a word for about 25 of y'all. Yes, Lord, I hear you. And he had 14. Now listen what he had. He had 14,000 sheep. He had 6,000 camels. And he had a thousand yoke of oxen. And he had a thousand female donkeys. Hmm. And he had also seven sons and three daughters. Come on. He had 10 children that he lost. Come on. And verse, eight, verse 14, he had called the name of his children, Jamama, and the name of the second, ja, I'm sorry, Ke Keziah, and the name of the third, Ker in Hapach. <laughs> right? So those were his three, the first three. That was the name of his first three children. But how many of you know God restored and gave him more? God gave him double. Listen to this. In verse 15, and all that were in the land where no woman was found so fair as his daughters. So in other words, his daughters were very beautiful. Come on. Job's daughters were very, very beautiful. And their father had gave their inheritance among their brethren. Come on. Verse 16, after this, Job had lived to be 140 years old. Come on. Y'all heard that? So God extended his life. Y'all not listening. Y'all not listening. Y'all not listening. Listen, Job lived a full life, even though he lost everything. Come on. Come on. Many of you that lost, you lost so much in the last few storms. Oh, God. You get ready to receive double. Somebody shout, I'm getting ready to receive double. Let's, let's continue to read here. And after, after um, Job had lived, what, 140 years old and saw his sons. Now listen to this. He saw his sons and he saw his son's sons and um, even four to four generations. Come on. So yes, his children had passed. Come on. But God gave them more. And then those children produced more children. Come on. <laughs> and then those children produced more children. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. And then those children produce more children. Come on. What is God saying? 
Ha, huh? glory. He says, after you have lost, he says, I'm going to give you back double. Mm. Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to give you back more than what you lost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody received this tonight. Verse 17. So Job had died and being old, but his days were full. Come on. He died a blessed man. <laughs> Glory to God. He received all that God had for him, even though it came at the end. Who am I prophesying over tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your beginning may not have been that well, but your end is going to be great. Woo. Glory to God. Mm. Somebody shout my ending. Listen, listen, my beginning, it was okay. It was okay. But my ending is going to be greater. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's a saying it gets greater later. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I hear people say, I'm getting so old, I'm getting this, I'm getting that. I said, no, you're getting better. You're getting better. <laughs> Glory to God. No, you're just getting better. You are getting better. I'm going to tell you why you're getting better. Hey, shut up. Hallelujah. Because the older you get, the mature you be, more mature you become. Who am I helping tonight? Come on. The more mature you become, the more you realize I had to go through that. Come on. The more you realize it was necessary. It was necessary for me to go through that. It was necessary for me to experience that pain. It was necessary for me to experience that hurt. I had to go through that situation. Hallelujah. And the reason why I had to go through it was to learn that God is able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God allowed you to go through it for you to realize that he's able. He's more than able to bring you out. Glory to God. I said the Lord is able to bring you out. Hallelujah. We're going to finish this teaching on Wednesday. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to finish this teaching on Wednesday. So I want y'all to come back on Wednesday. All right. At 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen, jump on our prayer line on Wednesday, though. OK, at 930. We play a few worship songs. Amen. We lay the foundation. We pray on our prayer line before we jump on social media. All right. So we, we usually on social media a little after 10. Glory to God. But those of you set your alarms for 930, jump on the prayer line with us at 930. Worship with us. Amen. Pray with us. Glory to God. And then we'll log on to social media. All right. Amen. That's how we do it here in our ministry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask, amen, if someone from our ministry, amen, can post the information on where you all can sow. Amen. Those of you that were blessed tonight and you want to sow into the ministry, glory to God. I'm going to ask if one of our members or someone, amen, one of our covenant partners that knows the information, if you could post it here. Glory to God on Facebook tonight. Amen. If you could post all three, all three ways to sow, um, cash app, PayPal, and our ministry's website. Amen. Glory to God. Cash app, the PayPal, and the ministry's website. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to pin it here. Glory to God. Amen. Those that desire to sow, all right, if you got a seed in your hand and you want to release it tonight, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. This ministry is very good soil. Hallelujah. Sow into the anointing. Sow into this word tonight. Glory to God. Listen, God's going to strengthen you. Amen. Even as you tell the devil no. Hallelujah. And as you give God another yes. Glory to God. And then there are those of you that are going to sow a seed tonight. Hallelujah. And God's going to give you double. Amen. He's going to give you double restoration. Glory to God. You're going to receive double of what you have lost. Hallelujah. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying those who are going to sow, God's going to give you your joy back. He's going to restore you. Mm. Hallelujah. One hundredfold. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's going to be complete restoration in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So for those of you that are sowing tonight, I mean, you can sow on the cash app. Uh, the ministry cash app is P-I-P-W ministry. All right. The way that you can sow once again is P-I-P-W ministry. All right. Get your seed in the ground. Listen and pray and ask God the seed amount. All right. Don't just sow, you know, just anything. Pray and ask the Lord. I'm going to tell you why. Because your harvest is bountiful. Amen. Your harvest is bountiful. Amen. Sister Carmela says, I sowed the last time. Amen. Yes, woman of God. I'm sure we received your seed. Amen. When you sowed the last time, Carmela. Glory to God. You have to understand that your harvest is bountiful. Glory to God. And not only that, you have control of your harvest. Did you know that? Come on. I have control over my harvest as well. 
Why? Because the Bible says if we sow sparingly, we're going to reap sparingly. All right. If we sow bountifully, we shall receive bountifully. Glory to God. I'm going to share a quick testimony with you all. Just give me 30 seconds. That's all it's going to take. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord had put on my heart. See, I have to be transparent and real because I can't tell you all to do something that I don't do myself. Amen. I can't say to you all to sow and give into our ministry and I don't do the same myself. Amen. I have a covering. Glory to God. Amen. I have a ministry that I sow into ministries rather. Amen. That I sow into as the Lord leads me. Glory to God. But I sow into my covering. I pay my tithes. I give my offering <laughs> faithfully. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Leadership dues and all of that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Come on. When you want the title and you want the office, you still got to sow. You still have to give. I don't know who that was for tonight. You don't just pop up. Amen. And you become the pastor, the overseer, the apostle, you know, and you, you lose your, your giving. In other words, your giving actually intensifies. Come on. Your giving becomes greater. Come on. Because God puts a greater demand on you. And he puts, who am I talking to? He puts a greater demand even on your life and your ministry. Come on. Your ministry will only go as far as you let God, as, as you allow God to let it go. Let me testify real quick right here. Y'all give me 10 seconds and we're going to close. The Lord put on my heart, amen, to sow a $1,000 seed. Amen. Now, this was not my first $1,000 seed that I have sown. Amen. But the Lord had put on my heart to sow a $1,000 seed. Amen. And two, amen, um, the convocation that I will be attending very soon. Glory to God, the organization that I'm a part of. Amen. Nobody asked me to sow a $1,000 seed. God told me. To plant that seed. Amen. And I thank God for it. Oh yeah. 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 I, I don't. Uh, Sister Carmela. Um, the Lord deals with me very, very different. Very different. Very strategic. You know, I've sown $500 seeds. $2,000 seeds. The most that I've sown was a $3,000 seed. Yeah. And it wasn't from my taxes either. What am I saying? Hallelujah. My harvest is always plentiful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because of the seeds that I sow. Hmm. Somebody think about that. Come on. Somebody think about that. Come on. Hallelujah. Come out of the mindset of, you know, just sowing little, little you know, a $10 seed or 20 And you know that God has blessed you with thousands. Come on. Come on. And some of you need to sow out. You need to sow your way out of some things. Come on. Glory to God. And so I can't tell you all to do something that I don't do myself. I tell my members all the time, your tithe is between you and God. You stop tithing, that's between you and God. That has nothing to do with me. We're not going to come chase you down. We ain't going to come looking for you. That's up to you. Come on, because God requires that we give our tithe and our offering. Hallelujah. I've sown an offering into a ministry and God turned my whole situation around. Shatan Babaha. Hallelujah. And anytime you sow, put your seed on assignment. Glory to God. If you're sowing for your marriage, name your seed restoration for your marriage or whatever you're believing God for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You believe in God for, for expansion in your ministry. So into another ministry. Glory to God. Whenever you believe in God to, to bless your business, you sow into another business. Come on. Or you name your seed business. Glory to God. When you sow into a ministry, hallelujah, what you do, amen, you, you put your seed on assignment. Glory to God. For those of you that have businesses, businesses always keep seed in the ground. Glory to God. I'm a business owner. I have multiple businesses. I have multiple streams of income that God has given me years ago before ministry. Come on here. And I'm sharing that to let you all know I'm a real person. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. All seeds go to our ministry. All, all the seeds that you all sow into this, into this fertile ground, it goes to our ministry. Hallelujah. We have a physical building here in Raleigh. Come on here. <laughs> that we have to pay rent on. Glory to God. Amen. I'm not going to tell you all how many expenses the ministry has, but we do have expenses. Amen. Come on. 
Hallelujah. But we thank God for provision. Come on. God provides and he meets every need. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because we are steadfast, because we're unmovable, because this ministry is very effective. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Souls are saved across the globe. Hallelujah. Many of you are healed, delivered, and set free. Glory to God. And God moves mightily by his spirit here in this ministry. So he has to continue to provide. Amen. The Lord has to continue to send seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's the work of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So those of you that are hearing the voice of God and the Lord is telling you to sow tonight, he's telling you to plant a seed tonight. Obey the voice of God. Amen. Obey the Lord and watch God bless you above what you can think or imagine. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all tonight. It was an honor and a privilege to be before you all. Amen. It was a blessing just to pour into your spirit on tonight. I pray that you all receive the word. I pray that you all were encouraged and strengthened in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to exit on um, Instagram live first, and then we're going to exit on Facebook. God bless you, Instagram. Have a wonderful night and shalom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just bear with me right here. Glory to God. Amen. As I turn this device off. Hallelujah. All right. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I am so excited. Hallelujah. By what God has already done. Amen. I'm overjoyed. Hallelujah. Because God. Amen. Has has he has really spoken to us tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Whether it was a rebuke, <laughs> listen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever God has done for you on tonight, even if it was encouragement, you know, to keep on pressing, keep on going in the things of God. Hallelujah. And to tell that old ugly devil, no. Glory to God. Amen. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. He got to go. Amen. He has no more place in your life. We're going to finish this teaching on Wednesday, so be sure to join us um, on Facebook. All right. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Get your seed in the ground. Don't forget to sow. Amen. Because you want the word, amen, to manifest in your life. God bless you all tonight. Have an awesome night. Shalom.